Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. First of all, I'd like to apologise for how I look and it is actually early for me. Well, to be ready anyway. It is 5 to 11 so it's not actually that early. But anyway, I have really dark eyebrows as well because yesterday I tinted them and they're not the best shape at the minute. But hopefully in the next couple of days the colour will wear off and it'll be more natural. Also, I'd like to apologise for the lighting. The sun is in and out today, but there is a lot of clouds, so it looks pretty depressing. So this video, if you haven't told if you haven't told by the title already, it's going to be what's in my bag. I'm doing this video because I've been asked what uh, what's in my bag. But also because I like watching these videos and I enjoy seeing what different people have in their bags, so I thought I like watching them and hopefully you'll like watching them. So if you're interested to see what I take with me, take with me? What I have in my bag, what different essentials I bring with me to different places. Also, this was from me going shopping yesterday with my friend. So that what? So depending on where I go or what I'm dressed like or if I'm wearing makeup or I don't know if it's hot, if it's cold. It'll vary of what I take from my bag. So this was yesterday. It was quite hush, yes, hush, hot yesterday, and yeah, I didn't have makeup on. I actually know it's in my bag because I haven't actually looked in my bag since yesterday. So it's just one of the things I stuff what's in there and I leave it in there until next time I go in there. And if I need stuff, it'll stay in there. And if I don't, I'll take it out. So yeah. Without further ado, if you're interested in seeing what's in my bag, then carry on watching. So to start off, then my bag is just a little handbag with these chains for straps, straps, these chains for doing this, I don't know what I think called straps, and there's also a chain inside a spare one which is longer I think, so depending on the size of the chains then how you want to hold it it's up to you personally i prefer the smaller straps just because it's easier and more well more suited to my size um so yeah this it's like these chains run all across the bag which i really like the detail of and then the front of the bag is like these black tassels which have like little sparkles in them i don't know if that's picking up on camera but yeah it's just like nice and detailed and on the back there's a little zip so there's not much going on really, it's just basic black bag. But I think with black bags they can go with any coloured outfit really because it's black, black goes with anything in my opinion. So yeah, these are actually quite popular at the minute from where I live. So I actually forgot where I got this from. But when I remember I'll link it down below. Just my actual bag, just basic black. But the chains sort of bling up a bit. So now moving on to what's in my bag. The first thing that's in my bag is my phone. This phone is a, I'll take the case off because it's a bit tatty. But this phone, okay. So yeah, the first thing I've got in my phone is this, my, it is this. It's not someone else's phone, it's my phone. So it's my iPhone and this is the iPhone 7 Plus. I got this for Christmas last year. Yeah, last year, so Christmas 2017. And yeah, it's just a, the rose gold one, yeah. When you're out, you need to ring someone, check someone, snapchat someone, speak to someone. Basically, that's the most important thing to me, is my phone in case I have an emergency or to find someone or something like that. This is the, my main thing that is always in my bag, wherever I go. The second thing in my bag, which is also very important to me, is my purse. And this purse is actually from River Island. It's just a gold and silver metallic purse. And I really like the size of this because it's really easy to carry around with you. So it's just easy to fit in any size bag really. It's not too big, not too small. First it's got a front bit. So I keep a little list in here as you can tell it's still in there. Like all your card departments. You have a little different department things in here. I keep my change in this bit because I feel like my change just goes flying everywhere around my purse and it ends up in the bottom of my bag, on the floor, somewhere like that. So I keep all my pennies in there. At the back is just this little clippy bit and this is where I keep my notes. 
not too much money to show off but yeah i really like this purse i think it's really pretty but it's also really good to fit in a good amount really good to fit a good amount in my third on my purse are my main ones so the third thing in my bag well in the summer i think it's important to keep hydrated well it's important to keep hydrated all year round really but especially in this heat you need to keep fresh hydrated yet healthy i think this is very important to me I drink about six bottles of water on average a day. Do you know why? But it's just something I really. So yeah, water is very important, and I love drinking water because who doesn't? So the third thing in my bag is a brush of loads of hair. Then I need to clean that. But this is just the GHD brush. I don't know what type of brush it is, but just like a. I don't even know what these types of brushes are called but this is usually if I'm having my hair down more than it's up because if it's up then you don't need to brush it I just keep it in there because I want my hair looking presentable in case I bump into anyone while I'm out I'll link it below because I'm not sure what size this is because I know you can get different sizes in them the f what are we on? the fifth thing in my bag is sprays I didn't just take one spray I usually take about five but well I only have two today but I usually take about three at the most just because I like different smells so I have the Victoria's Secret I think it's called Pure Seduction I think this is it but it's just this red and it smells amazing it smells of like rose it <laughs> roses but I think when I use it <laughs> Victoria's Secret sprays they last all day and people always comment and I always seem to say it's Victoria's Secret um, couldn't live without these because everyone always says they smell nice so the other spray I use is the Hope Cove body spray from Jack Wills this one smells really refreshing as well it smells a bit of soap and vanilla and always comments on these as well and these do last a long time as well not as much as the Victoria's Secret ones but these are just nice to freshen up and then if it's sunny, because this is a summer what's in my bag, I take a pair of glasses. In my bag I have two pair of glasses. They're both from Primark actually. So I have the like plain sort of style glasses with just like the gold around the outside and then like the tanned lens. And then it's leopard print sides. And yeah, these are really cool and affordable they are only actually one pound i think the others are a pound dearer <laughs> still like you can't spend one pound to two pound on glasses because glasses are important in the summer so <coughs> so the other pair of glasses i got is these leopard ones also from primark like i said and they're a bit bigger they're a bit more round shaped and they're also a tan lens and these are all leopard print like i said over I really like these because I think they're really groovy and I like the shape, they're a bit bigger like I said and yeah oh, these are actually really good against the summary they had little stickers in like UV protection or whatever but that that actually is true to the packaging and what it said Primark work wonders if I'd pick up a pair so next in my bag this is also another important thing that I take out of me because I don't always like to listen to people's conversations that just sounds rude block out the haters <laughs> just to mind my own business really instead of picking sticking my nose with people's business but this is the little like charger sort of plug but this fits into my phone because the little screwy one doesn't fit into my phone and you can't be apple earphones earbuds a very good essential to me because I like listening to music while I walk down the streets and just be in my element. Yeah, very important for me. Take them everywhere. So the other thing I have in my bag is usually a clip. Again, this is going for the brush. When I have my hair down, it's usually I actually have one in right now. I always just like putting my hair in one of these because with the bubble, you're just uh, tying hair off ages, tuck your head over. But with these, just scrunch your hair up, tie it around, and clip it in. I just love clips, so I went have one in my bag. Also, this goes for if I am wearing makeup, which is very rare. As you can tell, I'm not wearing makeup on my channel. But if I have makeup, I don't usually like, 
top upload i like feeling matte because i actually have oily skin naturally so i like making my makeup matte hence why i take a powder brush around with me not natural powder just the brush just to pat down any i don't have makeup on and i'm gonna be doing exercise so i don't really want to be wearing any just to pat down any oils that occur on my face that's pretty much it. So lipstick, lipstick rubs off so easy as everyone probably knows. Favourite velvet teddy matte lipstick round with me. Just pop a bit on when I'm coming off. Yep, so that's also a top up. I, I do actually brush my eyebrows up while I'm out. So yeah, just for finding me around, just give them a brush. Another thing in my bag is chewing gums. Chewing gums are important because you want to refresh breath, to feel minty, to feel fresh, to feel clean. So yeah, these are important because you don't want a smelly breath when you're talking to someone. Oh, another thing that's in my bag is socks. And I don't know why, but actually I do know why. Because I don't like wearing socks with shoes, I don't know why. But, well I do like wearing socks with shoes because that should be weird. But if like my shoe has a low cut, like around the heel I don't like my socks poking out so I'm really fussy with how my feet look in public that sounds weird but if I have white shoes on I don't like wearing like black socks and I don't I'm really I don't know because my shoes have low cuts around the thing around the side and I don't like the feeling of wearing ankle socks are they called just like the lower cut socks i don't like wearing them because they slide down and they just make me have blisters so i'd rather wear no socks because i'm weird and i don't have smelly feet just to put out there but then if i'm back coming back home or if i'm trying to pair of shoes on out or if i'm going to my friend's house obviously i take my shoes off i bring a pair of socks so i can just won't have cold feet so yeah just a weird story of me carrying socks around in my bag but that's why I do carry them around. Another thing that I take around with me is a deodorant in case I smell. <laughs> I'm joking. Well, I'm not joking because that is what I do as well. Yeah, I take it around because to keep refreshed, just to keep smelling nice and not feeling sweaty. So I just feel better about myself and just, yeah. It's actually quite a big one to fit in my bag, but it fits. This is the Garnier Mineral one. It's actually really nice and it smells incredible. So yeah, girls, this is a girls one. I, and I can't really think of anything better, so I'll pop this in my bag. Um, and the last thing in my bag, which is important, is a phone charger. Because you need your phone charged because it's important and um, my phone's just pinged. But yeah, phone chargers are important. You can charge your phone on buses nowadays, in restaurants, in fast food places anywhere really you can just charge your phone i like to get, leave the house with a fully charged phone but it can die quick so yeah just in case this is a go-to item product essential thing so yeah this is very important to me so that is it i think i think that's it oh well sorry one more thing is i usually take a house key out with me in case when i get back to someone's someone's not in like my mum might be at work or my sister might be out herself but usually people are in and they're here to look after me just in case i take a house key out just so i'm not locked out and i'd have nowhere to go so a house key i take out with me as well and that is actually finally it but also i'd like to mention i don't have it in my bag with me the camera just died so we will carry on anyway i do usually take out of me food such as fresh fruit that i cut just before fresh fruits that I cut up just before I would have left the house such as strawberries and just because they're so nice and I think they replace the feeling of me wanting like a sweet snack such as sweets crisp chocolate so yeah strawberries any like sour fruits I like raspberries but I do take banana out because they fill ya I take them out with me just so when I get hungry while I'm out I can eat that rather than picking up something that I would prefer such as sweets chocolate and I take like a breakfast bar out of me with my bottle of water that i already mentioned so i like to take snacks out with me so i don't get hungry or i don't crave a sweet snack while i'm out just try and stick to my diet really at the minute i'm doing videos that i like watching myself personally but i don't know if people who are watching these videos like watching them i have a lot of list i list of ideas i want to do but i'm just going to be uploading them until one says stop we don't want to see these 
So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have, give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe and it'll help me out. So thanks for watching this video. See you in my next one. Bye!